Exodus from the English Septuagint by Lancelot C. Brenton Continuing in chapter 20 And the Lord spoke all these words, saying I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt out of the house of bondage and you shall have no other gods besides me You shall not make to yourself an idol nor likeness of anything Whatever things are in the heaven above, and whatever are in the earth beneath, and whatever are in the waters underneath the er under the earth, you shall not bow down to them, nor serve them. For I am the Lord your God, a jealous God, recompensing sins, the sins of the fathers upon the children, to the third and fourth generation, to them that hate me, and bestowing mercy on them that love me, to thousands of them, and on them that keep my commandments. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, for the Lord your God will not acquit him that takes his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor, and shall perform on all your work. But on the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. On it you shall do no work. You, nor your son, nor your daughter, your servant, nor your maidservant, your ox, nor your ass, nor any cattle of yours, nor the stranger that sojourns with you. For in six days the Lord made the heaven and the earth, and the sea and all things in them, and rested on the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the seventh day and hallowed it. Honor your father and your mother, that it may be well with you, and that you may live long on the good land which the Lord your God gives you. You shall not commit adultery. <clears throat> you shall not steal. You shall not kill. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife. You shall not covet your neighbor's house, nor his field, nor his servant, nor his maid, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor any of his cattle, nor whatever belongs to your neighbor. And all the people perceived the thundering and the flashes and the voice of the trumpet and the mountain smoking and all the people feared and stood afar off and said to Moses, Speak you to us, and let not God speak to us, lest we die. And Moses says to them, Be of good courage, for God has come to you to try you, that his fear may be among you, that you sin not. And the people stood far off, and Moses went into the darkness where God was. And the Lord said to Moses, Thus shall you say to the house of Jacob, and you shall report it to the children of Israel. You have seen that I have spoken to you from heaven, and you shall not make to your God, yourselves gods of silver and gods of gold, and you shall not make to yourselves. You shall make to me an altar of earth, and upon it shall sacrifice your whole burnt offering and your peace offerings, and your sheep, and your calves in every place, where I shall record my name, and I will come to you and bless you. And if you will make to me an altar of stones, you shall not build them of hewn, hewn stones, for you have lifted up your tool upon them, and they are defiled. You shall not go up to my altar by steps, that you may not uncover your nakedness upon it. And these are the ordinances which you shall set before them. If you buy a Hebrew servant, six years shall he serve you, and in the seventh year he shall go forth free for nothing. If he should have come in alone, he shall also go forth alone, 
and if his wife should have gone in together with him, his wife shall also go out. Moreover, if his master give him a wife, and she have borne him sons or daughters, the wife and the children shall be his master's, and he shall go forth alone. And if the servant should answer and say, I love my master and wife, and should answer and say, I, I love my children, I will not go away free. His master shall bring him to the judgment seat of God, and then shall he bring him to the door, to the post of the door, and his master shall bore his ear through with an awl, and he shall serve him forever. And if any one sell his daughter as a domestic, she shall not depart <clears throat> as the maidservants depart. If she be not pleasing to her master, after she has betrothed herself to him, he shall let her go free. But he is not at liberty to sell her to a foreign nation, because he has trifled with her. And if he should have betrothed her to his son, he shall do to her according to the right of daughters. And if he take another to himself, he shall not deprive her of necessaries and her apparel and her companionship with him. And if he will not do these three things to her, she shall go out free without money. And if any man strike another and he die, let him be certainly put to death. But as for him that did it not willingly, but God delivered him into his hands, I will give you a place whither the slayer may flee. And if anyone lie in wait for his neighbor to kill him by craft, and he go for refuge, you shall take him from my altar to put him to death. Whoever smites his father or his mother, let him be certainly put to death. He that reviles his father or his mother shall surely die. Whosoever shall steal one of the children of Israel and prevail over him and sell him, and he be found with him, let him certainly die. And if two men revile each other and strike the one the other with a stone or his fist, and he die not, but be laid upon his bed, if the man arise and walk abroad on his staff, he that struck him shall be clear, only he shall pay for his loss of time and for his healing. And if a man strike him, his manservant or maidservant with a rod, and the party die under his hands, he shall be surely punished. But if the servant continue to live a day or two, let not the master be punished, for he is his money. And if two men strive and strike a woman with child, and her child be born imperfectly formed, he shall be forced to pay a penalty, as the woman's husband may lay upon him. He shall pay with a valuation. But if it be perfectly formed, he shall give life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot, burning for burning, wound for wound, stripe for stripe. If one strike the eye of his manservant or the eye of his maidservant and put it out, he shall let them go free for their eyes' sake. And if he shall not let them go free for their eyes' sake, and if he should strike out the tooth of his manservant or the tooth of his maidservant, he shall send them away free for their tooth's sake. And if a bull gore a man or a woman and they die, the bull shall be stoned with stones and his flesh shall not be beat, eaten. And the owner of the bull shall be clear. But if the bull should have been given to goring in former time, and the man should have told his owner, and he have not removed it, he should have slain a man or a woman, the bull shall be stoned, and his owner shall die also. And if ransom should be imposed upon him, he shall pay for the ransom of his soul as much as they shall lay upon him. And if the bull gore a son or daughter, let them do to him according to the ordinance. And if the bull gore a manservant or maidservant, he shall pay their master thirty silver to drachmas, and the bull shall be stoned. 
And if anyone open a pit, or dig a cavity in stone, and cover it not, and an ox or an ass fall in there, the owner of the pit shall make a compensation. And he shall give money to their owner, and the dead shall be his own. And if any man's bull gore the bull of his neighbor, and it die, they shall sell the living bull and divide the money, and they shall divide the dead bull. But if the bull be known to have been given to Goring in times past, and they have testified to his owner, and he have not removed him, he shall repay bull for bull, but the dead shall be his own. End of chapter 21